Uh, Benoit Dessert, the new head of Global Transaction Banking at Societe Generale, welcome. Uh, let's start to uh, talk about Cybos. What is Cybos for the bank and what is the, I would say, the priorities for the bank in the areas of Cybos and in your new position? Well, thank you. Well, first, Cybos is, we all know, is a very important, you know, convention for all the banks to meet and exchange with essentially what uh, we will have to do, change, innovate uh, in the coming future. So it's an exciting moment for that, uh, for that simple reason. Um, if I look at Cybos every year, the question I'm asking myself is, you know, how can we be more transparent? How can we act faster? And basically how, even more importantly this year, how can we be more secure, both for the bank and for the customers? So if you go around those three angles, you will find some of you know, the discussions that we have had around Cybos for the uh, past two days, I'm sure for the next uh, day or so. And do you have a feeling that innovation and fintech are really one of the key issues? It, it's, it's more than one of the key issues. It's one of the essence you know, of everything we're going through uh, in the coming days and years. Um, fintech brought essentially a, 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 a huge amount of investment uh, that does challenge to some extent what the banks were doing. Again, along the three things that I just mentioned, you know, how can they capture a bit of the value that the bank were having in the past, um, you know, whether it's uh, bringing more safety, whether it's bringing more uh, efficient uh, ways of talking to your customers, or simply a better way to do it at a cheaper cost. So yeah, th it, is, it is a challenge for us. At the same time, let's be honest with it, I believe the bank and the fintechs are, in fact, much more closely working hands to hands uh, for the benefit of both. So they're not a threat. That at some point, it's, it looks like banks are under a possible threat by fintechs. Now it's more collaboration and things of that nature. Threat is an obvious point, okay? Uh, you either take it as it is or you rethink a bit what you're doing and try to cooperate with the fintech and try to work with the fintech. Um, just a number that has been flowing around, which is you know, somewhere around 20 billion investment made by the fintechs. No bank can do that. Not all the banks can do that. So that's where they bring some value to us and that's where we need to find cooperations between them who have some new technologies and us who have the legacies, the customers, and basically the understanding of the customers. Is, is, does the bank have a particular, the Association General has a particular approach that you invest directly in some fintech companies, you do joint venture, or you do a little bit of everything in that respect? I think we do a little bit of everything. Um, the example I give, which is not something new, but is something of the practice of Societe Generale. Um, in the GTB business in Societe Generale, you have the factoring, for example. Well, we're very happy to say that the factoring tools we have is in fact powered by Kiriba. You see, it's, it's, it's implicated into what we're doing. We have to take what uh, present or past or future fintechs will bring to the market and integrate that into what we're doing. And basically, let's be honest with you, that's the best way to go forward. We can't do all the developments. They can. We can pick up what they've got, what we've got, and combining the two makes a great success for our customers. And uh, we talk about innovation and fintech. What other key issues do you think are part of the discussions here, particularly from your perspective? Well, Regulation, standards, everything, I know. It's, it's, it's a bit of everything. Truly, regulations um, has become part of our life. It, it was a tremendous um, amount of, of work and money that we spent into it since the crisis. So it's become a bit more regular, I should say. So regulations, yes, has become part of our life much more than in the past. Innovation is becoming a bit more, you know, what we're looking for. We're trying to go a step beyond regulations to again regain control of what the customers are looking for. Don't forget the customers are always uh, also being a bit disrupted by regulations. When SEPA comes in, it means it's a lot of investments they have to do on their side. When, for example, regulation changed the capacity of the banks to do um, an offset of assets and liabilities, it implies some changes for the customers, for, for example, the one using notional cash and pooling. And some costs. You know, it is at some cost for them. The good news is, I think, for the customers, 
all that happened in Europe has dramatically lowered the cost for them. You know, SEPA was a dramatic improvement for them in terms of cost, but it also brings some disruptions uh, for them to bring more security, to be more efficient, and, and let's face it, to be more international. Growth for corporates comes from being more and more international today because all in every single market, you know, internally speaking, no growth. So if you want to grow, you got to go abroad. And um, finally, let me ask you about the awards that you're receiving today at Global Finance Transaction Bank Awards. What do the awards mean for the bank? Well, I think there's a couple of, um, of awards that we're, first of all, very proud of, and, and thank you for that. Um, it, it goes on the cash management um, with uh, best liquidity, uh, from what I understand, and, and best cash management in uh, Central and Eastern Europe. Uh, very proud about it. Um, in France also, uh, some of the awards for, for cash management. Uh, I believe we have some of my colleagues that will be receiving some with the FX. Uh, FX is a key factor for us when we think it's, it's, it's both a standalone business, but it's also a very interesting business with cash management. Transactions mean FX. If you're in national banks, and we are, you know, FX is part of your life. So to that extent, uh, we're very happy about it. And I believe, I didn't see my colleague yet, my, my colleague from uh, um, the securities is also coming. Uh, thanks to you, uh, we got also a couple of rewards. So the GTB, globally speaking, and the flows job, globally speaking, is you know, very much appreciative of, of uh, what has been done in the past years and the rewards we get from global finance, for sure. Thank you so much. You're and welcome. Congratulations. Thank you.